I was always on this mentality, and I think a lot of people, you know, when you're athletes and you have to train every day, train every day of like the more equals better results. And I was, you know, lifting five or six times a week. And he's like, dude, what are you doing? Don't do that. Do three times a week. And then you can run a couple different variations each time a week. Like, what do you think the best rhythm in terms of, I guess, just overall workout would be? People should move every day. It doesn't mean you have to train hard every day, but yeah. you have to have movement incorporated into your life. We were talking about what I think is really important before we start recording. And it's this idea of intermuscular adipose tissue, mm. I'm at. Mm. The way that you maintain healthy skeletal muscle is you have to move. Unhealthy muscle is sedentary muscle. Mm. And when That's you good. are sedentary, then your muscle over time becomes more insulin resistant. It's kind of like a swamp. Mm. And that's why activity is so important. In terms of hard training, I mean, I train hard three days a week. Three days a week. Yeah. yeah. My husband trains hard one day a week. Hmm. And not by choice, but by utility. That's when yeah. he can train. Yeah. Okay. So talk to me more about the IMAT. That's really interesting. Yeah. And- it's kind of like, you know, things have it, they're different. Like it's the, you know, one size fits all. It's body fat, fat percentage yeah. is what is the tracking metric. But this IMAT's different. Yeah. Go in depth on that. I think it's very interesting. So IMAT is intramuscular adipose tissue. And we really frame things up in general about body fat percentage mm. as body, as if body fat percentage is the major meaningful marker. Yeah, that's what anybody tracks. Like, hey, are you 10%? Hey, are you 12? What are I you? I think that's yeah. a mistake. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. a mistake. Thanks for taking yeah. that misnomer away yeah, from yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I think the real issue is this intermuscular adipose tissue. And intermuscular adipose tissue is extra fat tissue within that muscle. Hmm. And that happens over time when you are not training. And when you have a steak that's like a ribeye steak, you get this fat infiltrated steak. And that's what happens to your muscle. And over time, it becomes less strong, metabolically yeah. impaired. And is body fat correlated to it? Yes, an individual could have higher body fat and higher intramuscular adipose tissue, but they could also have um, a variation in body fat, like a lineman, maybe they have high body fat, but low intramuscular adipose tissue, and their metabolic markers are all good. Yeah, yeah, okay. The idea that body fat percentage is the most important outcome, I think is a mistake. That's just a reflection of what the most important thing uh, is. Yeah. Not necessarily. So intramuscular adipose tissue increases with age, yep. increasing, increases with sedentary behavior, you'll see, quote, skinny fat. Yeah, yeah. I think that the issue is not their subcutaneous fat, it's the intramuscular fat. Wow, okay. And that's what we need to actually start focusing on. So how can we focus on that more? What do you think the shift will be? Because this is pretty revolutionary, I would say, in terms of, you know, no one talks about this. Yes. Well, good lifestyle practices are definitely imperative, which mm -hmm. is resistance training and diet, but I also think measuring intramuscular adipose tissue so you have a baseline yeah. is gonna be important. And how you're gonna do that is gonna be your next question. Well, we don't have <laughs> great and <laughs> easy ways to do that. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. What the, how we would do it would be um, ultrasound or MRI. Mm. And say for example, in Japan, an individual could get an MRI for like a hundred bucks. But here it's not as accessible. Yeah. The moment it becomes more accessible, is the moment we're going to be able to see uh, at a population level in the US what we're actually dealing with. Mm. But I, I think the problem is that intramuscular adipose tissue. That's really cool. So it's this idea of muscle quality. I love that. You know, it's, it's, it's not just about having more muscle, it's about having better functioning muscle. Yeah. It's that lean muscle quality. And I think Whoa. that's what's so critical.